what you're selecting. So let's just get that part first. Perfect. Get his foot, his other foot. Now let's go down, see if that trunk goes over. Hey agents, HKCG here, and today we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to edit your 360 photos using Affinity. As you may or may not know, Photoshop it's kind of sucking lately at 360 photo editing. It takes a long time. You have a few extra steps. Uh, Affinity, thanks to uh, Ben Claremont, I put a link to his channel somewhere below. Uh, he showed me the first step in Affinity, but I had to figure out how to get out of that first step, if that helps, if that explains anything. But without wasting any more time, let's get into the edit. So first you need to open up Affinity. And if you don't have Affinity Photo, I'll put a link down below. I already have uh, brought in a photo, but uh, let me bring this one back in just to make it simple. 11226J. So when you open up Affinity, uh, you won't see the screen. Affinity does have a free version. So if you want to check out the free version, try it out. And then it's something like $50, $60 for a lifetime license. You don't need to pay a monthly fee like in Adobe. So you uh, open up Affinity, download it. Then you come in, you hit open file, open, find your file, click open, and your file pops up in Affinity. So from here, once you have the file you want to edit, obviously it brings it in panorama mode. If uh, you want to know how to create this panorama mode from fisheye dual lenses, uh, make a comment below. I should have a link to that video either already done, posted, or coming soon. Uh, just make sure you like, subscribe, and that video will be available soon. So once you get this opened up, go to Layer, scroll down to Live Projection, and then you want to click Rectangular Projection. Basically, it's going to turn it into a 360 photo that you can zoom around and look around and you can look up look down you can find all your errors if there is any and this one looks pretty good the only spot I need to correct is the tripod and also you see this little area here that's not quite lining up so now a key thing is once we once we hit this brush here it's gonna turn this 360 equi equi the photo the 360 photo it's going to take a snapshot of what you see, basically make a layer of just what you see. So once we do this edit, if we just save it, all we're going to save is this shot and you're going to lose your photo. So make sure you don't save until you get rid of this vision. So that's important, something I've learned. So you click the brush down here and it is the in painting brush tool. And then basically it's going to, it's a healing brush. If you're familiar with Adobe and it's going to take out the stand and this is all real time so now that we are got rid of the stand that's pretty sweet let's just clean this up a little bit so it's not an obvious break now all I'm using is the end painting brush to see how it does and that is pretty good we could spend more time get a cloning brush clone this up to here but in reality, um, how many people are gonna be looking down and looking at the details? There's cracks in the sidewalk and all that. So this, for this particular picture, that is definitely more than enough. Then once you do this, you wanna go back to your live projection under layer, live projection, and then you wanna remove the projection. This is key. Once you remove the projection, then you can save it like this and it goes back to panorama and you can share it as a panorama slash 360 photo. If you don't do that, it'll save it as that square. And uh, if you don't have that 360 photo anywhere else, you just lost it. Um, so that is that one. Let's do one more real quick. I'll just go through the process, but I'll show you if you need to do two edits, what that looks like. If you want to do multiple edits in that same uh, photo, but they're in different spots of the photo. So I'm going to save this one. And then I'm going to find one where I had the tripod and a person. That, that's this one here. So this one, uh, I have the tripod below and there was a landscaper back in the distance. 
I couldn't very well ask him to, you know, go hide somewhere while he was doing his work. So once he got into a position where I knew I could edit him, I hid and then took the photo. So let's let's go here. And so you're gonna edit two parts of the photo. So you're gonna go back to the equi rectangular projection, and you can see he is right there. And then the tripod is right there. So let's get rid of the tripod first. So I'm gonna go over here, hit that in painting brush, select it, I'm missing it a little bit, but it'll be all right. Now, if it doesn't work, you can do control Z if you, the usual, but that looks pretty good. One little clean up there. All right, so currently, no matter what you do, if you try to use this hand or whatever, you can't go back and look around this picture because like I said, it took a snapshot. Once you do the in painting brush, it took a snapshot and then you froze right there. So you have to go back and put it back to uh, 360. But instead of remove projection, you wanna edit live projection. It'll take it back to the 360 view and then you can get to the view where, I don't know if you can see him, but the landscaper's right there. And then, so since you're editing the live view, once you get to where you need, go back to your in painting brush and then paint him over or whatever your subject is. All right, so we'll zoom in uh, on his, on where he was. And we can see that was kind of a too big of a selection that pushed up the grass and it cut off this palm tree and stuff. So let's control Z, undo his in painting. So we get in here closer, select that in painting brush. Oh, I switched it here. In painting brush tool right there. And then you can just narrow down what you're selecting. So let's just get that part first. Perfect. Get his foot, his other foot. Now let's go down, see if that trunk goes over. Let's see if we erase his feet. And that's, that is pretty good. No complaint. Now this is really zoomed in, so anybody that actually looks at it the normal way won't even know he was there. So I'm gonna go back to layer. I'm gonna go to live projection. Edit live projection. That gives me the ability to look around. Now I'm gonna look where I was hiding just to make sure I don't see my hat or anything. I'm gonna look up, make sure all the palm trees are lined up. Everything looks pretty good. So don't save here. Now make sure before you save, you go to layer, live projection, remove projection. projection. Once it's in the panorama view, you can save it. So you can either, so a quick tip, if you go to file and save, it saves it as what you brought it into. If you go to file, save as, it's gonna, oh, it's on my other screen. It's gonna make it an affinity file. So if you don't want it as an infinity file, let's say it's a PNG, you want to save it as a JPG, uh, you just go to File, Export, and then you get your choices of how to save it. Plenty of choices, plenty of options. So that's a one slight difference. You can't do Save As, you have to export it. Obviously, if you found this helpful, informative, hit the like, subscribe, and share it with anybody that you might think will enjoy. And if you want the future edits, how-tos, hit that bell so you get the notifications. If you have any specific questions, comment below. And uh, there is also an app that I love using if I'm doing some quick edit, if I'm uploading to Google Street View or something like that. I just wanna do it real quick all from my phone. Uh, there is a quick way, an awesome way to do that. I can, you can edit out your stand, you can even edit out things like these people. Um, it does a pretty good job. Uh, the only thing you can't do is put your nader in and things like that. So if you wanna learn about logos, all these tutorials keep keep the bell notification going and I look forward to seeing you on the next video thanks again